All right, so today we're testing out the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm also trying to learn how to surf. I'm exhausted. It's not easy. It looks really fun and cool. You know, the surfers with the hair right in. Nothing like that. I just got tumbled. I got eaten alive by these waves. Is the new iPhone waterproof? I, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Is it? I have one. Oh, okay, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> this camera's supposed to be really awesome. Let's see if we can get any shots. Even though we've kind of lost the light, but the low light should be pretty decent on here. So let's give it a shot. I'm having a time of my life. Everything is going all right. So phone is still working, which is good news. It would have been really awkward to have to tell Apple I drowned their brand new phone. Now technically it's not waterproof, it's IP68 water resistance. And I guess that means you can go down to max six meters for up to 30 minutes. Probably wouldn't recommend it if you could avoid it though. The speaker sounded funny for a little while afterwards. And also when I plugged it in, it says it detects moisture so it wouldn't charge via cable. But let's get into talking about the cameras because for me personally, when it comes to phones, all I really care about is how good are these cameras. Now let's go ahead and switch over over to the iPhone's camera now. Now I am still using the audio out of this microphone right here, but let's see how's this image looking. And I wanna test out all the different cameras on here while I tell you about our sponsor, Storyblocks. Storyblocks is the go-to place to go find royalty-free stock assets, whether you're looking for stock video, stock images, music, sound effects, after effects, templates, pretty much anything you need. Storyblocks should be one of the first places you look because their library collection is massive. Here, let me go ahead and turn this camera around. Dylan, quick, think of something random. Uh, penguins. That, that's too easy. Of course, Storyblocks got you covered for the penguins. What else? Jelly beans. Yeah, we, yeah, of course we have jelly bean shots. Are you kidding? Ferris wheel. It's too easy. It's Mongolia. Mongolia? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Their selection is massive. And the best part is you have access to all of that using their affordable unlimited subscription plan. Hands down, one of the best values out there. It helps you get your projects done on time and on budget. Links down there in the description. Thanks again, Storyblocks, for sponsoring this video. All right, what'd you guys think of the footage out of this iPhone 12 Pro Max? My first impressions was that it looks really good, but here's the thing, the previous iPhones, the 11 and the 10, they all look really good as well. So what are we really getting out of this new upgrade? First of all, I was happy to see that all the cameras are 12 megapixels, not higher, not 24, not 50, nothing crazy like that. I like that they're all 12 megapixels. Remember, you don't always want more megapixels. You want the right amount. The spec that I care more about is right here, the 1.7 in pixel <laughs> it stands for micrometer or micron the bigger each pixel is the more light the photo site can gather giving you a overall cleaner more accurate pixel so is 1.7 microns big well for a phone yes because the previous iphone was 1.4 and there's a lot of phones out there that are less than one but it's not going to be as big as a professional cinema camera like this area alexa is 8.25 microns per pixel so we want bigger pixels but the trade-off is that they take up more space so let's say this is our sensor the bigger each pixel is the less we can fit in here so it's kind of this balancing act right of having the right amount of pixels at the right size if you want to add a crap load of megapixels in here then each pixel is going to be really small so this is why i'm happy that the sensors are all 12 megapixels instead of following that trend of trying to fit as many megapixels into this phone as possible now this has the same resolution as the previous 11 pro max but with bigger pixels only way to make that possible is to make these sensor bigger. And on top of the bigger sensor, we also have a faster lens, an f1.6 instead of an f1.8. Faster lenses, bigger sensor. Oh, such a good combination right there. That should give us better low light performance as well as a shallower depth of field. In other words, giving us that blurrier background that we get out of the more professional cameras. We tend to love shallow depth of field when it's in focus. Keyword, when it's in focus. If it's out of focus, then it's actually gonna ruin the shot. So we don't want that. The autofocus has to be on top of it. Now, this is where the new LiDAR sensor comes into place. And this is actually genius. The LiDAR knows exactly exactly how far the camera is from the subject, relays that information over to the camera in both photo and video mode. So not only is the autofocus solid, it actually doesn't require light to get accurate autofocus. That's one thing I noticed in the older generations. So as soon as it starts getting dark, you're gonna drift in and out of focus once in a while. But with the new LiDAR system, it stayed perfectly locked on. Really impressive stuff here. But let's also look at the telephoto lens. We have a 2.5X zoom, which is definitely something I prefer over the previous just standard 
millimeter 2x zoom felt like that was just kind of a waste of a lens i mean sure it was a little bit tighter but it wasn't that much tighter so i think this little extra reach is going to be better and more useful honestly i wouldn't even mind if it went a little bit tighter right now it's about a 65 mil equivalent i think it'd be cool to have something closer to 85 but hey again the 65 definitely an improvement over the previous ones anyways i'm being harassed by the dogs to take them outside so let's go for a little walk wow when the lighting's good this phone just makes everything look so nice i gotta give it to apple for having really rich vibrant colors just no editing required it just looks so good now we all love golden hour right i mean how could you not pretty much any camera looks beautiful in golden hour because we have plenty of light it's colorful it's beautiful but one of my favorite times to shoot is blue hour just a little bit after the sun has set but one of the beauties of having this larger sensor is that it's able to get cleaner images even when we don't have as much light so during blue hour you'll definitely notice how clean the camera looks because of that bigger sensor now the ultra wide angle isn't as good in low light so as long as you're filming with a lot of light it still looks good but as soon as we tilt down you can see that there's a lot more grain in the grass now how about the 2.5 x telephoto it seems like it sits somewhere in the middle where it's better than the ultra wide angle but just not quite as good as that wide angle lens so if you're filming in a spot that isn't as well lit like blue hour and you want to get the cleanest image definitely hop into that wide angle lens to utilize that larger sensor because it looks clean now of course as soon as it becomes dark we can really take advantage of that faster lens and those bigger pixels giving us a cleaner image at night you can really see how much more information the 12 is actually capturing when i bump them up and also the 12 does record in 10 bit as well now so we have the capability of recording more depth giving us more flexibility with the file afterwards now one more thing that is new in here is the ibis so instead of the stabilization happening in the lens it's happening by the sensor shifting around or sensor shift now i didn't really notice the stabilization being either better or worse than the previous iphone 11 pro max which uses optical image stabilization which isn't a bad thing i mean the iphone 11 pro max had really good image stabilization anyways if i had a guess i think they just moved that stabilization onto the sensor so that they could keep the lens more compact because the bigger sensor usually means a bigger lens as well and these are a little bit bigger than the 11 pro max but not by much so i'm thinking that since they made the aperture bigger and also the sensor larger if they were to also put stabilization in that lens it would have been just a little bit too big but from a user standpoint you know i have this bigger sensor faster lens and i still get the same great stabilization so i think that ibis was great but overall i think this new camera system on here is probably my favorite that i've seen on a phone so far it just feels very well balanced across the board you know apple does a pretty good job about stepping up their game on every generation i think if there's one thing that i would like to see on the next one is improving this front facing display i mean i think people are using this more and more especially people like me who's using it as a vlog camera and you know let me go ahead and record on it and again like the picture on here is pretty good oh hi carrie how you doing over there carrie's being the producer actually no she's just being patient while i record myself for 30 minutes while she's freezing and we all know that iphones can get great picture as long as you have really good lighting but sometimes you're stuck in places like this where the sun's already set so times like this having a faster lens and a bigger sensor is really going to come help out because not only does the phone now look good when there's good lighting it also looks pretty good with bad lighting i mean that's really what gets me excited about this new hardware is that more often you'll be able to just pull out your phone and get a pretty good looking shot even slow motion actually makes a pretty big difference because when you're filming slow-mo each frame only has a very small amount of time to collect the light so having a sensor that can collect light faster and cleaner is definitely a big plus for slow-mo oh and of course this is a sponsored video so we are doing a giveaway with the brand new dji mavic mini 2 so just drop a comment down below within the first 24 hours of this video going live and you will have a chance to win and i'm also very excited to see what kind of things we're going to be able to do with this new lidar in here do you know what lidar is the thing that detects when you're lying <laughs> <laughs> so check it out i'm going to put my camera right there and look see that yeah see how it lays out a grid and i'm just going to walk around the camera does that make like a 3d model of something it's not very high res but look it's got a 3d model of the camera oh you can make 3d models which animators are gonna love. There's a lot of possibilities that's gonna come with the technology that's in these phones now. Anyways, it's really windy, so we're gonna try to quickly wrap this up by reading a few comments. Cole's wagon is next level. That's pretty cool, huh? Do you see his wagon? Yeah. Have you watched the video? Carrie doesn't watch my video. Cole has this G-Wagon that's pretty cool. Slides out for his camera, and he could actually lay down back there. 
Oh, that Cole? yeah. Maybe he should come camping with us. Oh, yeah, time. no, we'll definitely go with Cole. By the way, shout out to Cole's hair flip at the beginning of this video. That slow move. Whoa, perfect, right? <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Buddy, where is the Mavic Mini 2 video? <laughs> I just got in the mail today. I got mine late, so I'll probably test it out in the coming days. Yay, more drones. <laughs> <laughs> Gary loves drones. I was like, I've seen this guy before and then let his hair free. <laughs> yeah, as soon as Cole lets out his hair, like you can't mistake him. <laughs> I'm surprised Potato Jet hasn't gotten his hands on the Canon C70 yet. Definitely one of the cameras that I'm jealous. I'm like, all these other creators are getting a hold of them. I'm like, how? Anyways, I think we're about to freeze to death with this wind. So see you guys on the next one.